Hey everyone, welcome to No Ideas Media. I'm Nick Syke and today we're going to talk about sustainability with my good friend and excellent farmer, Terry Aberhart. I drove like 10 hours this week to visit Terry in Saskatchewan as he was preparing his equipment for seeding. We're a dry land uh, grain, grain operation here, so we grow oil seeds, uh, canola, some pulses, peas, a little bit of soybeans, some fava beans once in a while, a bit of wheat, malt barley, and some specialty crops like hemp, uh, different things like that. So we're kind of a mix of different crops and we're currently farming about 15,000 15, acres right now. According to Stats Canada, the average Canadian farm is about 820 acres. So at 15,000 acres, Aberhart Farms is well above average in terms of scale. I mean, this is certainly a corporate farm. Look, they have a fancy website and logo. Their branding is on point. You also have to acknowledge this is a family farm first. I mean, look, just over there, that's the house Terry's dad, Harv, grew up in. And behind the cedar is the house that Terry raises his three kids in. This is as much a family farm as a corporate one. Our farm is a corporation because there's multiple shareholders, my mom and dad and, and my wife and I. And so we simply are a corporation due to tax purposes and things like that, right? But it's still a family owned and family run. We have multiple employees, just like any, any uh, family business, but we really look at them as people, members on our team. That's an important dichotomy to bear in mind when talking about corporate farms versus family farms. Another important dichotomy to think about is sustainability versus profitability. Because sometimes us consumers get it in our head that farmers have to choose one or the other. But to a farmer, overall sustainability and profitability are two sides of the same coin. I think sustainability for us means striving to do things in a better way that's sustainable for the land and the environment long term basically so that the generations have the next generations have it better than than we do now so i think that's what sustainability means to us is to be able to carry on and not just carry on but improve the way that we're doing things and improve the the impact that we have on the environment because at the end of the day for a grower i mean our land is our livelihood I, I know that can sound a bit cliche, but it's true. The land is the profit, and sustaining that land is the thing that ends up sustaining the business. There are a ton of variables that a farmer like Terry has to consider here. So we really focus on using nutrients in the most efficient manner. We focus on using variable rate technologies to apply those nutrients where they're being utilized the most and not apply them where they're not, whether it's seed, fertilizer, or chemical. We also look at things as a, as a whole, the, the crop production and profitability uh, rotations. Uh, we look to try to improve and maintain and improve soil health. We also look at programs where maybe it, it makes more sense environmentally and production wise to put lower producing areas down into hay versus trying to grow crop or, or conventional crops in those areas. So there's a lot of different tools that we utilize, but I guess we're always striving to look at what's the most efficient way we can produce crops and how do we continue to improve our land so it's better for future generations. Okay, again, future generations can sound pretty high-minded and a little ambiguous, but on this particular farm, there is a specific person that statement applies to. This is Terry's son, Holden Aberhart, and he's planning to be the fourth generation farming this land. I asked Holden what the best part of living on a farm is. Here's his answer. And what I think is probably the best thing about living on a farm is that, say you go on a trip somewhere and then you're in the city and you look up at the sky and you can't see any stars and then when you come back home, look up at the sky and it's just clear. I love that. There's a kid with his eyes on the stars. And I think the fact that Holden is looking forward to farming the same land his family's been farming for generations says pretty much everything worth saying about sustainability. This farm was started by his great-grandparents who sustained it long enough for his grandparents to farm it, who then sustained it long enough for Terry and his wife Lachelle to start farming it. Terry and Lachelle are sustaining it so that their kids have the opportunity to farm it. So logically, 
This means the land has been farmed sustainably for a very long time already. Now, I know the idea of sustainability is hot in the market right now. It's a little bit fluffy. There are plenty of ways to measure it or look at it, but the common denominator is that sustainability means something that has worked long term. Aberhart Farms has worked long term and grown and gotten better over time. That sounds an awful lot like a sustainable farm to me. Thanks for watching.